Before this video starts, I just want to say something really important. It's really short, but if you don't want to hear it, go ahead and skip to this part in the video and it'll take you to where the video begins. Just recently, a couple of days ago, I hit over a hundred thousand video views on my channel. To be honest, I'm in awe. I mean, thank you guys so much. Like, I really appreciate it. It means the world to me and I love you all for it. But it's just crazy to think about like how just a year ago when I first started this channel or about a year ago, I never thought I'd get this far. I never thought I'd reach 100,000 video views. And to reach it this soon means the world to me. Honestly, you don't know what it means. Seeing the number 100K anywhere on my channel is extremely inspiring for me to keep going. And that's why I'm going to be bringing you guys more content more consistently because I know my schedule is off. It's so, it's terrible. I do not upload, but like, hey. I promise to be way more consistent from here on out. Anyway, enjoy the video. I love you, and thank you. Okay, so before I start, I just wanted to let you guys know that these are all free fonts, and I will have the link for each one of them down in the description, all together in one folder for you guys. And these fonts are all fonts that I use on a regular basis when graphic or even motion design. That being said, let's get into the fonts. So number one is Gotham. Starting off with the font every single, Every single designer should have it's Gotham. There are so many styles in Gotham, you can basically make any design that you use this font and work. It's so diverse and professional that you can use this on most of your work. It's super clean. You most likely already have it, but if you don't, I can't recommend this font anymore. Number two is Black Sword. Second font I'm going to be recommending to you guys is a font called Black Sword. This is more of a cursive font that you use when you're making a kind of fancy or elegant design. Usually with most cursive fonts, I say that the connection between two of the letters in the font is little to non-existent and ends up making it look overall detached and not cursive at all. This font will connect the letters perfectly unless you're trying to use all bold letters, which in general look ugly, so just don't do that. Overall, really solid font. I use it a lot, and you should use it a lot. On to the next one. On to number three, we have Go Go Poster Punch. Now, I know the name sounds weird, but trust me, it's a good font. This is actually the font that I've used in my recent thumbnails, and I'm gonna continue using it going into the future. I don't know what it is about this font. It's almost like professional, but there's an element to it that makes it like gamer-like or cartoonish, and I just find that it fits my thumbnails the best. I really enjoy this font. It looks pretty solid, and yeah, so on to the next one. Next up at number four, we have Helvetica. Now, this font is interesting. I actually found this font because I was looking for the font that Off-White uses in their products. It looks amazing to me, so I looked for it and I've been in love ever since. Now this font actually goes for around $35 each style, of which there are 36, but I took my time to condense them all in just one file for you guys, so I heavily recommend this font for any professional kind of work as well. It's very nice and something for subtext or even main text. Again, heavily recommended. Link below. And number five, we have Blacklisted. So this next font is actually a glitchy type effect font and has a glitch line through the middle of the letters. It honestly wouldn't even look out of place in something like the Watch Dogs series. This font goes perfectly with anything of the glitch type banners or headers. It's a really fun font to use and can really help bring out the creativity in a project. Now on to the final font. Number six is Next Art. Last but not least, we have a very similar font to the Gotham Family fonts. This is what I call the master of subtext. Any kind of subtext you use, this font will go perfectly for, and it's got about as many styles in the family as the Gotham font does. So you can use this font for mostly anything you need to. This font can be used in so many versatile and creative ways and I make sure that I use this font whenever I need some solid subtext. This is a really good and solid font that you guys should all check out. Well, that was all my fonts for this video. If you guys like this video, I would appreciate you guys leaving a like and even subscribe to my channel. It would really mean a lot. We're almost at my goal of 500 subscribers this year and I'm hoping we can hit it soon. If you guys really like this video, go ahead and let me know in the comments and tell me to do a part two and I'll be happy to do it. That being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.